Hi everyone, Christy from Hypothesis here, and today I wanna to give you five tips on how you can use Hypothesis in your larger courses. These tips are going to revolve around, first, how you structure your Hypothesis-enabled readings, and then second, considering how you grade those Hypothesis-enabled readings. The first tip is to make use of the group functionality if you're learning management system is Blackboard, Canvas, or D2L Brightspace. In each of these LMSs, we integrate with the group set features, so you can break students up into smaller groups so students can annotate within these small groups. This will make the annotations much more manageable for both students and if you have TAs that are assisting you with your courses. Another option is to have students make use of the tag function in Hypothesis. So if you want to easily surface questions or certain topics that students are discussing, ask them to add a tag to their annotation with the word question or with a certain topic so you can easily bring those up and use them in an active discussion in your course. The third tip in structuring your annotation assignments is considering assigning a group leader in each of your annotation groups. This leader can change each week and the student that is leading the discussion will be responsible for summarizing the annotation and perhaps providing a report of who has participated and who has not. The last two tips I have for you involve grading hypothesis assignments when you are teaching a large course. Now, if you are using the group leader setup, you can just provide a grade when a student is a group leader. This will reduce the number of assignments you need to grade from the large number of students in your course to the number of groups that you have. The last tip involves just your overall grading approach. You can make each annotation assignment a pass-fail assignment or complete-incomplete so that you simply need to mark whether or not the student has completed the assignment. The other option is to make use of the Hypothesis Notebook feature and wait until the end of the semester and use the notebook to review how many annotations a student has made and assign an overall grade for their annotation participation, thus reducing your grading workload to just once a semester. I hope these tips are helpful for you in getting started. Please reach out if there's anything we can help you do to help use Hypothesis in your bigger courses.